If you're watching this video, that's because you want to streamline your hiring and onboarding process and you're wondering whether you should build your own applicant tracking system using your own no-code tools or whether you should use an ATS software like Greenhouse, Workday or Breezy HR. ATS is applicant tracking system, by the way. Today, I'm going to explain why building an applicant tracking system inside of Airtable may be a better solution for your small business. And I'll also show you how we at Solvisign help our clients implement, customize and integrate Airtable so that it saves a ton of time and HR overhead in the long run. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi and I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. We help small businesses grow by automating clients and you hire onboarding paperwork so you can grow faster with fewer resources. If you're interested in talking to our team, you'll find the link in the description of this video to book a consultation with one of our automation consultants. And if you're new to DocuSign and document automation in general, I strongly suggest you download our free document automation cheat sheet to help you understand how to automate all your forms and documents. And all of the links that I mentioned in this video, you can find them in the description just down below. Now let's talk about your hiring process. Hiring your staff members, whether employees or contractors, is just hard. You as the hiring manager have to complete a lot of tasks. The process looks a little bit like this. First, you need to advertise a job. And here you may be posting jobs on job boards or use a recruiter, or maybe your candidates apply directly through your website, which is awesome, by the way. Second, you want to screen applications, shortlist and book interviews. Then the interviews will take place. And if there's a good fit, you'll make an offer to the candidate. And if the candidate accepts, then you'll need to send onboarding paperwork, including I-9, tax forms, bank information, uh, doc documentation collection. And then you'll need to verify that they have working rights on E-Verify. And then you'll need to set them up in payroll system. And then you need to give them access to company resources so they can do the job. So of course, depending on your company, you may have fewer or more stages. But now within each stage, multiple actions need to be completed before you can move to the next stage. And I call those actions stage actions. And they need to be completed by you, the candidate, or someone else within the team. For example, in the screening stage, you'll review candidate applications so that you can decide whether you need to shortlist them or reject them. Then in the interview stage, you'll probably send an interview confirmation by email or SMS, or even maybe a background check consent form. And in the offer stage, you'll send a DocuSign contract. And the issue is not only doing all of these tasks, but also keeping track of whether those tasks were done. So everything just takes so much time. And then you also need to think about trying to remember which stage e each candidate is in. And so this can be a total mess. And that's the purpose of an applicant tracking system. But instead of using an out of the box ATS, I believe that customizing Airtable to use as your ATS can be a better option for your small business because Airtable doesn't just allow you to keep track of these actions, but it can also help you automate them. And in case you haven't used or heard of Airtable before, Airtable is simply a low-code database that helps you store information such as your candidate applications, like you would in your normal Excel file Google Sheet, but just 10 times better. One of the reasons it's even better is that you can set up rules in Airtable to automate the stage actions, all the stage actions that you can think of. So for example, when a candidate enters the offer stage, an automated rule that's set up in Airtable can send the onboarding paperwork automatically for you. Check which state the candidate lives in and based on this, determine which state tax form needs to be included in the DocuSign packet. Prefilling all of the paperwork information with information you already have on your candidate, such as their name, date of birth, email address, mailing address, and all of that. And it can even submit a background check on your behalf without you having to do anything. And when the onboarding paperwork has been signed, then another automated rule could send all of the banking information collected by the candidate, I mean, entered by the candidate in the forms to QuickBooks or any other payroll system to create the payroll profile. And maybe another rule can take the information entered in the I-9 and upload it inside of E-Verify to check whether the candidate has working rights in the United States. And by the way, most of these channels, viewers all in the US, so I'm referring to a typical hiring workflow for American companies, but the overall concepts I'm describing here will apply to most countries. And with Airtable, all the data you have about your candidates can be reused in other applications that you would normally need to manually copy paste information into. But so why do I recommend Airtable over a standard ATS software? After all, the ATS software has already been built and customized to support all those functionalities. Couldn't we just do all the things that I just said in an ATS software? Well, you could do some of it, but let me give you three main reasons why I believe it's better to do it in Airtable. First, the level of customization that you can achieve with a standard ATS 
is nowhere near Airtable. Using Airtable as your ATS means that you can fully customize the workflow you're trying to automate so that it fits your exact business needs. You can add functionalities yourself without relying on the ATS software platform to start building that feature. Or if you don't know how to do it yourself, you can easily find an Airtable developer who can do that for you. So for example, if you need your ATS to integrate with a specific tool, such as a motor vehicle reporting background check something, then you can get it built for you directly within Airtable. With a standard ATS software, it's not the same story. You would have to wait and be lucky for that ATS to integrate with a specific tool that you need. Second reason I prefer Airtable over a classic ATS is that an ATS only helps you with your hiring process, whereas Airtable can help you streamline multiple areas of your business. It can be used as your CRM, you can use it to track orders, you can use it to create invoices, documents, and it can be connected to any other tool to help you automate any process. And of course, don't worry, you can separate your data to keep things organized, meaning that if you use it as a, as a CRM and as your ATS, your sales lead won't get mixed up with your candidate. That's not gonna happen. Honestly, having the ability to use one tool for many business purposes is clearly underrated. I recently read this Harvard Business Review that showed that workers spend an average of five weeks per year switching apps, which is just like under 10% of the time they spend working. It's it's crazy. Now, the third reason I recommend building your own ATS in Airtable is that standard ATS are much more expensive than Airtable, which only costs you between 10 to $20 per month. So if only two people within your team need to have access to the Airtable ATS, then you only need to pay for those two users. And if you need to give access to your Airtable base to other users who will just view the data, you won't pay for those users. As a comparison, Greenhouse costs between three to 25K per year, Workable costs between two to 7K per year, and Breezy HR costs between two to 5K per year. And by the way, this is just the cost of the software. We're not taking into consideration the cost of professional consulting services that those companies will have to deliver to assist you with the implementation. And so when you compare those costs with Airtable, which is only 10 to 20 bucks a month, plus the fact that you can use Airtable for many areas and many processes inside of your business, then the gap is even greater. Now, let me show you three ways we've customized Airtable to work as your applicant tracking system. And bearing in mind that this is just a demo. So the first thing is to track candidate by stage. It's called ATS for a reason, right? As soon as a candidate application is received, the candidate appears in the applied stage. This means that they have just applied and we haven't spoken to them yet. And as our candidates move through the different stages of our recruitment pipeline, then the stage of each candidate will be updated. And this is how we mainly track where each candidate is in the process. The stages are fully customizable, of course. So we have nine different stages here from applied to terminated. And if your business has multiple locations for which you're hiring for, you can use filters to show all the candidates only for this or that location or for this and this position to help you stay organized. If I want to see what my pipeline looks like for a particular location, I can see this here. And we can see how long it takes to onboard a candidate on average for a specific location to see if something is to be improved in our process. The benefits of having all of these data points in your system can help you improve the business and your processes. And most ATS will not have those reporting capabilities. The second way we customize Airtable is by building different pages with different actions for your hiring manager to follow. If you think of your process, at each stage you need to complete certain stage actions, right? We just talked about this. For example, in the invite to interview stage, you may want to send an email confirmation with a date, time, and location of the interview to your candidate. And I can do this super quickly here by selecting a date and time for the interview and then press send. We can do the same thing with the offer letter. I can insert the pay rate, start date, and other information directly in here and then send the documents for signature through DocuSign. And I could even automate some of these steps. If I was always giving the same salary to a given position, I could pre-fill those fields with default values. And I'm not saying you have to, but you could. Here's what the onboarding document will look like once the candidate opens the DocuSign packet. As you can see, everything has been pre-filled. The benefit of using Airtable over other software is that we can ensure that all the stage actions have been completed for a candidate before the candidate moves to the next stage. This means that nothing falls through the cracks. 
The third way we customize Airtable, of course, is by building integrations with many systems to automate manual actions. So for example, the offer letter creation is done with a Dorpis and integration, and the creation of payroll profiles in QuickBooks is also automated. And if you live in the US, the integration with eVerify is ready to go, as well as background checks, MDR, or any other kind of screening can be triggered directly from the same page. And you can also track the results of the screenings and background checks here. You can also automatically provision your employees Google or Office 365 email and deprovision them from within Airtable when, when they leave your company. So in summary, using no-code tools such as Airtable to streamline your HR processes makes total sense if you want to be able to fully automate and customize your workflow. But of course, if you don't want to do a lot of customization, if you have a very simple process, then maybe an out-of-the-box ATS system will still be a very good option for you. And if you're interested in speaking to one of our team members about implementing a similar solution, you can use the link in the description of this video to book a consultation with one of our automation consultants. In the next video, I will show you how to actually build the ATS uh, system inside of our table. I will see you then. Ciao.